I just received a beautiful teaching from a cat at my friend's house. I was playing with the toy and the cat was following the toy. I'm sure you all have uh, seen cats playing with toys and running to them and then stopping and wondering what it is and maybe pawing it a little bit to, to see how it reacts. And, uh, and I observed this cat play with the toy with me and then I placed the toy on the ground and the cat kept moving around and, and staring at the toy and then just placing itself in different positions around the room in relationship to the toy. And I could imagine the cat thinking, what is that? What is that and how does it relate to me? How does it affect me and how should I relate to it? What should I expect from it? And, um, and I thought, how interesting, this cat is trying to figure out this object without knowing that I'm, I'm the one who's controlling the object. And I thought, how interesting that we think cats are not as smart as humans because maybe their brain is smaller and just their lifestyle is not super educated like ours, unless they're going to cat school for specially smart cats. I thought, you know, maybe there's things in life, in our experience, that are controlled by other elements. So you could say God, physics, other people, right? And, uh, and we, we interact with these things, objects, situations, people, sometimes assuming that they are operating as we see them onto themselves. And perhaps that's not the case. Perhaps there's somebody above, you know, um, controlling and pulling the strings on these objects. Sometimes it's people. Like people can be controlled by other people. They can be controlled by ideas, they can be controlled by diseases, God, whatever you want to call them, right? Physics, chemistry. And we, at least I know I do this, I will engage with people and fail to understand why they're behaving the way that they do. And sometimes I realize that there's some other force operating in them. And of course, there's there's forces operating in asses. In asses? <laughs> in our asses on us oh my gosh this english situation is not working this morning so well anyhow i thought it was interesting just to to get that perspective of the one that's operating this object that someone is confused about and trying to figure out knowing that they have no idea that the object is not an object unto itself but an extension of my doing. I guess both are true. What do you think?